Welcome to Gabe's Cave. I'm Marty. And I'm Brandon. And today, what are we going to do, Brandon? We're going to thank our sponsor. Absolutely. RPG Hiring. Uh, if you're looking for a new career, and seriously, let's talk about this just for a second, because these they've been our sponsors since we started. And uh, I just want to say a few things about them. Um, if you're interested, or if you know someone is interested in a new career, if you live in Arkansas, if you live in Oklahoma, if you live in Kansas, Missouri, or Tennessee, are willing to move, if you're looking for a six-figure income opportunity, look them up, rpghiring.com. If you know somebody who's interested in a, a new career, rpghiring.com, or contact Gabe's Cave, our other sponsor, Comic Shield. Comic Shield. If you like, uh, if if you do a lot of shipping, or if you send uh, uh, any at all, I mean, Comic Shield has they have um, slab boxes, they have uh, regular comic boxes, and I'll tell you what, uh, we used to use Gemini boxes for the longest, and the Comic Shield boxes are so much better. They protect it, uh, your comic better. Yeah, definitely check them out. Comic-Shield.com. What are we gonna do now? What now? Now what are we gonna do? Well, now we got to do the giveaway. We're going to give away Ashley Marsh's cards. Oh, give it away. We're starting something a little bit early this time. We're trying, changing it up a little bit, right? Give it away, give it away, give it away now. You haven't seen Ashley Marsh's work, man. I'll tell you what, you, you're, you're missing out. Follow her on Facebook. That's the best place to find her. Ashley Marsh is a phenomenal artist one of my favorites definitely would love to see her on some covers and stuff like that her painting um is just incredible incredible yeah uh, the cards are, are crazy you're going to be lucky you lucky winners anyways if you want to win cards just like those uh you need to make sure uh, to go to our channel that you're watching right now subscribe like comment hit the link in the description fill out that form so we can send the cards to you if you win now what are we doing now we're supposed to be just kind of <laughs> making yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk about our new segment of future finds comics that we believe that are the future that you should be looking at and getting um they could be books that are coming out within a couple months they could be books that have already come out and we feel like it's something you should take a gander at uh for maybe like a little bit of speculation Let's talk about this new one that's coming out. This is basically a follow-up. This comes out in December. Uh, this is like a basically like almost like a follow-up. This is our future find, right? This is our future find. Batman Spawn comes out in December. The event of the decade. It's been like 20 years since the last time we had a, bond, a Batman Spawn crossover. Todd McFarlane is back. He wrote this, come back to DC, wrote the book, teamed up with Greg Capullo, who has probably the most amazing Spawn covers that were ever done. Uh, back in that day, that run was amazing. A lot of those covers are very expensive. Um, he's back doing art. He's doing interiors. He's doing covers. Todd and Greg are doing covers. Not only that, they decided to bring a bunch of their top tier friends yeah. into this book. So, not only is Greg Capullo, uh doing the interiors, we are getting covers by Todd McFarlane Gabriel Del Otto, Sean Murphy, Francisco Matina, J. Scott Campbell, Jim Lee, Joshua Middleton, and Brett Booth. We're talking about the heavy hitters. All the heavy hitters between DC and Image are here. On this book together. On this book together, doing covers. There's lots of variants. They're even coming out with blanks. This is this is a one shot, right? This is a one shot. This is a prestige format. So think like Batman Damned, uh, Batman One Dark Knight. It is going to be a heavy cardstock cover. Lots of opportunities for nine point nines and tens. So I really think that this is going to be a, a one of the hottest books uh, of the year, and and it's coming out the at the very end of this year. Which I don't know about you, it's kind of like an Oscar. Here's a cover that's already in the previews. Uh, Francisco Matina. This is a Brett Booth cover. That's the one I want. You know him from Spawn. Here's the interior preview. Look at this. Look at the detail. It's classic Grokapulu. Major, major detail. A lot going on here. It's a lot of eye candy. Uh, it, 
that is that is very detailed in that panel there i mean that is unreal i mean you look at look at the batman look at these these interior pages this is in progress this is this is going to be a major book to get not only to 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 read uh there's a lot of covers there's a lot of variant covers there's some uh some racial variants that are signed by todd by greg Capullo. um there's a one in one thousand if you if a shop orders enough a one in one thousand signed by Tom McFarlane and Greg Capullo. that is gonna that's probably gonna be a high dollar variant I would think so uh, considering that the spawn one in one thousand went nuts uh, when it came out I believe that was spawn 300 and it was like a one in one thousand crazy cr- it went crazy uh, I think this might go even crazier because it's Batman and spawn it's Todd it's Jim Lee it's it's all the heavy hitters. Comes out December 13th, uh, just in time for Christmas. Absolutely. So if you get any Batman Spot fans, Tom McFarlane fans, this is a book you, you might want to buy extra of, not just for yourself, but to give out to other people. Um, well, let's talk about the blanks, because I'm, I'm pretty excited about the blank covers. As we, you know, we like artists, so that's how it works around here, it seems like, original artwork. But they have a blank cover of this. Who doesn't want Batman and Spawn on a blank cover? I mean, I do. I guarantee I'm going to get some. So if you want to get this, uh, you want to check out all the covers, if you want to go ahead and pre-order some for your pool list and get some shipped to you at an affordable price, you can go to gabescave.com. Uh, order it. We, we have them. Uh, we, we'll be happy to order it for you, uh, get it shipped out to you. Or if you want to pick it up in store, we can do that too. For all of our artists anybody who's worked with Gabe's Cave or uh, even friends of Gabe's Cave, I will even say that. If you work with Gabe's Cave, Gabe's Cave on their card sets or if you worked with us on uh, on covers, if you're wanting some of these Batman Spawn blank covers, call us. And the reason why I'm saying that is we're going to make y'all a, uh, a special deal on them. I'm excited. You excited? I know you are. We've already been talking about it for a while, so... Uh, yeah. I'm excited. Go, go to gamescave.com, order it. Get definitely, it. definitely. What do we do now? We're going to meet the new artist? Yeah, we're going to do the uh, next artist spotlight with Robert Harris. Enjoy. Hey, everyone. I'm here today with Robert Harris. Uh, Robert, how are you doing today? Doing pretty good. How about you? I'm doing wonderful. Um, I'm glad you could make it on with us today um, and, and get to talk about your cards and do a little interview here. Sounds good. All right. We'll start off here. Um, how long have you been an artist and, and been doing this? I've been pretty much doing this since I was probably five years old. <laughs> so I've, I've always drawn my entire life uh, on and off, but probably for the past you know two and a half years, I've been really... Uh, getting back into it and taking it more serious and just trying to accomplish little different goals that I've set for myself. And what, what inspired you to become an artist? Um, I just like creating. I like creating. Uh, I like drawing things that are visually appealing to me. Um, and I mean, as you can see around me, I, I love pop culture. I love vintage sure. toys. So just combining what I love together into one medium and it's always cool to see you know like i can't draw i can't draw i'm I'm not an artist by any means i can doodle a little bit maybe but um it's always cool like you're like man i I wonder what that thing would look like with this and then you draw it you know what i mean and that's always cool to me it's i just can't find artists to do it for me cheap enough so i'm just like always left wondering (laughs) because i can't do it myself so (laughs) yeah yeah um What's your dream art job if you were to, you know, have a job that you really wanted in the art industry? Uh, me, dream art job. That's a tough one. I, I mean, I love drawing garbage pail kids. So if if I had the time, and and everything, I would I would love to draw garbage pail kids. Like that would be my ideal dream job. Besides that, just anything that I could do that would just be drawing like pop culture stuff so pretty much an artist 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're living the dream, man. Living the dream. So I mean, uh, but no, like, no, like big. Uh, I guess with Garbage Pail Kids, um, if they were to do, do they still do official sets and stuff? Yeah, yeah. They so still like do. to be an official artist would be uh, goal yeah. for you then. I gotcha. That would be a, that's cool. A, a goal. It's... What's your favorite character to draw? I like drawing Rick and Morty. Like those are my favorite. Um, Scary Terry. I like drawing him. <laughs> Scary Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I have this obsession. Like, I really like drawing Scary Terry. Um, I also like drawing um, Clark Kent from the Garbage Pail Kids. Like, he's one okay. of my favorites. Uh, that's pretty much it, as far as like my favorites that I like to draw. Sure. Kinda so, like on your. You, go ahead. I just like to draw a little bit of everything, but yeah, I got those you. Are, I enjoy. So, on your Garbage Pail Kids, do you like to create your own or are you a. Uh you like stick to one character and just kind of draw him over and over or I like to mash things up. I like to take like an original drawing and then figure out how I could change it and make it different or uh, like combine two characters together and, and stuff like that. Like I, that's what I really enjoy doing is just creating something completely, you know, completely new. You ever take like a, make like a garbage pill, like Batman or something like uh, that? one that i did might be hard because of the glare but i did a um a bony tony with a uh, rick <laughs> oh yeah that's funny you know uh, what what inspired you to do this set here like what this the, the cards you chose what what was uh what inspired you the most on those uh well i just i wanted to draw characters that i'm a fan of so I I tried to pick a little bit of each so that I could just put a variety out there and, and I tried to do stuff that I thought was like visually appealing. So when you look at it, like I like bright colors and just kind of that's where I chose to go with them. But I do like all the bright colors and I like the choices you, you've gone with here. And we're going to go over some of these because uh, people watching might not know everybody. Uh, we'll start off here. We got the Me Seeks. Uh, me seeks with the me seeks box, uh, having and, the brain meltdown. That's a and that's uh, my mix up of uh, Adam Bomb with the with the me seeks. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then we have Morty just relaxing, drinking some orange juice. Then we have here your specialty, the garbage pill kids, and I, I'm not sure what what who's who. So you gotta have to talk to me about it a little bit. Tell everybody about it. Yeah, so I can't remember the name of that one off the top of my head. Um, it's uh, it's basically it's a comic guy. I just can't remember the name of it. Looks like he's got. Is that something from Minecraft in his hand there? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, that's what, then you got what? Is this Bob from Bob's Burgers? Is it Santa Claus? Uh, that is. Uh, not. It's not Bob. It's um. What's it his didn't, name? It didn't look like Bob, but I know it's from the show. Uh, it's uh, I can't remember the guy's name. He's always in their restaurant eating. Uh, I just can't think of his name off the top of my head. You nailed the art style. It, it's it's there 100. percent Someone will, someone will watch this and be like, I know his name, and you'll say it in the comments. But yeah, I've never seen yeah. Bob's Burgers. So I don't know the name. Uh, huh. we got Homer, classic Homer, Homer. here from The Simpsons. We'll yep. go down this way here. I don't know who this is, so Venture, tell Venture Brothers, the Monarch oh, Venture Brothers. Oh, that is who that is. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's um the bad guy. What's yeah. his name on there? Um, I think it's Monarch. Monarch. Okay, yeah, I have seen the show a couple of times, um, and I enjoyed it, but I don't. I just never went back and watched it. So uh, it, it is a funny show, and it's it's funny that it's like a like a, a more adult Johnny Quest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have Puppet Rick here with I don't remember the other guy's name behind him. Uh that's Beaker. That's right. And who who is this one here with the, the clown? So uh from uh Metalocalypse. I don't know if you've ever seen that on Adult Swim. I, I have uh, like one episode, yes. That is um a clown that is basically he is a hardcore party clown 
Okay, he looks like a hardcore party clown. Yeah, just, it, it, it's it. I would keep it very PG. I gotcha. <laughs> he definitely looks like a hardcore party clown. And we have another, uh, we have another garbage spell kids here. The bazooka gum. Yeah, Joe Blow. Joe Blow, gotcha. And then we have another Bob's Burgers character. I don't remember her name. She's not the one that's always dancing with her back, right? Like doing the. Oh, uh, that is that's uh, Louise. Louise, which one's the one that always does the? Uh. I'm so bad with names. <laughs> Can't remember her name. Yeah, I. She's a meme at this point. Yes, I. It's on the tip of my tongue. I'm so bad with names. I have the worst memory. So, so. uh, Robert, uh, do you have anything uh, planned? Like any future projects you're 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 coming up on? Yeah. So right now I'm doing uh sketch cards for uh, garbage shoot droids. Uh, they. It's basically it's Star Wars droids with a mashup of Garbage Pail Kids, and uh, there's a lot of amazing artists in that group. I mean, there's just so many amazing artists in that group, and they've got a series four is out right now, and it's it's for sale. So you can go to like the Garbage Shoot Droids uh, Facebook page or Instagram. That's kind of an ongoing thing. I do sketch cards for that, and then um, in the beginning of next year uh i'll be doing a kickstarter with my good friend kimber over at kimberlin art on instagram and we're going to be doing a card set so i can't really say much about it right now because kind of still in the works on it but that's going to be coming up and then uh there's a few other things that i can't really talk about but pretty excited for them so that's uh that's pretty much what i've got going on right now and what's the best way people can uh, and reach out if you're? And are you? Let me ask you this first: Are you taking any commissions right now? Uh, I do take them periodically. Um, it just it depends on if it's something I'm interested in doing. So sure. I, I, so what's the best yeah. way people can reach out to you um, and get a hold of you if you are uh, interested in taking the commissions, or if if they want to, you know, reach out and ask about Instagram. Instagram is the probably the easiest way to get a hold of me at OCD Rob 199 on Instagram. And then uh, I also got a Facebook fan page. So under Robert Harris art. So sure. either one, um, but Instagram is probably the easiest way to get a hold of me. And we'll definitely have all that down in the description. Um, that's all going to be linked under, under your name right at the top there. Uh, so if anybody is out there wanting to uh, get a hold of Rob and, and um, reach out for any commissions or anything like that questions, he's definitely available. So I really appreciate you being on here with us today and taking the time to do an interview and being a part of Series 3. I get confused. Four? Being a part of Series 3 with us. Um, we have so many things going right now. We've got Series 4 cards coming in. We've got Series 3 cards coming in. We have Series 3 art, uh, uh, interviews still. So, again, thank you for being a part of that with us and, and working with us. And Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, it was good talking to you, and uh, we hope everybody enjoys the cards. Thank you. All right. Hope you enjoyed that interview with Robert Harris. Uh, let's thank our sponsor one more time, RPGHiring.com. Voting people. Changing lives. We also thank our other sponsor. Comic Shield. Go to comic-shield.com. Get the best box money can buy. All right. That's it. You got any last words? Well, you know, um, Ryan Hurst is going to be in, in the store on November 5th. N- November 5th. And we also have Scott Enos, the voice actor of Scooby-Doo, Shaggy and Scrappy. And he will be in on December the 2nd. He'll be in signing autographs. Him and the Mystery Machine will be here. I'm pretty excited about that. Rut row, Ruggy. (laughs) Rut (laughs) row. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hopefully, uh, y'all will be by to see us. If not, uh, you know, jump on our website, get on our pull list, and, uh, yeah, we appreciate everything, and y'all have a great day. Bye.